Hi all, Reloading Bench back with you once again on a wonderful quarantine weekend. It's raining outside, it's kind of gloomy, so I thought I'd uh, take an opportunity while I'm doing stuff around the house and garage to uh, make a short video. And uh, this is about something that came in uh, the last few days. And I actually stumbled across this by, uh, I don't remember what I was searching for, stumbled on somebody's YouTube video that I can't even recall what it was about. It was uh, casting related, but I can't recall what the uh, specific topic of the video was. And the tool that the person was using, uh, this was in passing, and I liked the tool so much that I hunted it down and found out what it was and uh, picked one up. So uh, my casting, from when I first started casting years ago, uh, my mallet, my hammer, whatever you want to call this, something that's soft enough that won't do damage to the sprue plate when you're knocking off your slag to uh, to get a nice clean break. Or, uh, you know, if the bullets don't um, fall out easily, something to tap, you know, these are aluminum um, dies. Uh, these particular dies are, uh, or excuse me, molds are uh, Lee molds. And uh, they've worked good for me. But uh, obviously, even when you've got gloves on, to be uh, dealing with hot, uh, hot components, uh, super hot components, you don't want to, you don't want to get burned. So uh, the hammer comes in very handy. But as I'm tapping the heck out of either the mold or the sprue plate, uh, you'll have wear and tear on uh, on the wood, and the wood is uh, obviously soft because it's meant to absorb the hit. So uh, I found one, uh, probably, I, it's been a while, so I found a slightly different one, super inexpensive, and I thought, okay, let me, let me have a backup just in case if something were to happen to this or you know, whatever, and I thought I was done in this, in this uh, category until, again, I came across a video where the gentleman was using uh, a different type of hammer that I hadn't seen before, mallet, hammer whatever you want to call it and what was cool was uh, first of all it's extremely solid heavy duty but heavy duty in the sense that it's not uh, a metal that would do damage to the sprue plate or to the mold and I've not used this yet but um, this is a nylon type material Delrin ish I mean, you know, if you take this apart and you take this rod out, this is a pretty thick uh, piece of material, and this this is solid. This is um, whereas it's not to say this isn't solid, but uh, there's a lot of heft with this in a very uh, little swing, and uh, I just like the craftsmanship, the materials. And uh, obviously the price. This is cheaper than either one of these softer wood mallets, uh, hammers, whatever you want to call it. And I believe the actual term for this was a leather mallet. So meant for leather tools, you know, the metal tools to uh, uh, do leather engraving and stuff uh, where you're tapping, where you need a little bit of weight. But uh, you, you don't want something metal to either damage the tool uh, or the material that you're working with. So, uh, again, don't want to damage the tool or the material that I'm working with. And uh, I thought that was a really cool addition to the casting side of, uh, of the hobby. So, short video, very cool tool, um, leather mallet, uh, leather hammer. And uh, Amazon has them for just over 10 bucks. Uh, couldn't believe the price. It was like 11 or $12. I mean, really ridiculous free shipping. Um, it was just a no lose. So that's it for today. Back to cleaning the garage.